Hey everybody, uh, we got something a little special today. Uh, this time of year can be tough to get things filmed and edited and, and everything else. And I do a lot of traveling to see family around Thanksgiving, Christmas time, plus a few other trips. Uh, but anyway, I bought myself something a little special recently. This is the Adeep Robotic Arm Kit for Arduino. And I thought I'd do a little unboxing, kind of take a look at what's inside there. Uh, before I do a nice build video and put everything together um, sometime soon. So I was asked by a friend recently, what are you going to do with a robotic arm kit? And I said, what can't I do with a robotic arm kit? I'm very excited. And they promptly listed off 30 or 40 things, both uh, safe for work and not safe for work, I probably should not do. Um, but I ignored that because I wanted it. Uh, so I'm very excited to take this in and take a look at it. Uh, I did go through and look at the tutorials. They are interesting, I should say. Um, if you've ever seen roughly sketched out and translated tutorials, you'll know what they look like. Um, they do have a step-by-step -step series where you slowly build it up and learn as you go. I'm going to skip that and build the whole thing at once. Uh, and then use the included pots that you'll see on the main board to control the functions of the servos. Uh, the neat thing about this is since, since it runs on a, on a board, you could actually pre-program or have it learn routines and then repeat the routines. So like you see robots at a manufacturing plant where they move exactly to specific areas. You can program this to do the same thing and even learn drawings and things like that. Uh, which I might get into later, but first I just kind of want to play with it, and, and you know, it's a toy for me. Uh, I might learn something, I might not, but mainly I just want to play with it. So without further ado, nice little thank you card, and it's got information in it, piece of foam. I, I always use these, uh, I tend to save these for doing balsa or other model kits because they're good to put pins in and it's better than being on like the wood of my table. And servo one, servo two, servo three, servo four, servo five, six servos. Uh, that's pretty rad. Um, so obviously this could be able to be moved and be jointed a lot. Included batteries. Now these are lithium ion, these are the rechargeables. Then we're gonna go inside this holder, which is already has something attached, so I won't have to do any soldering to attach that. I'm assuming this is gonna be the main board. Oh yeah. So it's in a zip up anti static -y bag. Just tight fit to get out of there without bending a pin. All right, so just looking at this, um, I, I I haven't really looked at the instructions much other than quick run through. Servo inputs, the potentiometers to adjust the servos and, and move them. Uh, everything is labeled very nicely. OLED screen. Looks like it has an adapter for Bluetooth you can get. I don't know if it comes with it or if that's going to be a further option. Um, USB for moving data back and forth. Nice on off switch. That's obviously going to be for the power that we just saw. Um, it's nice. Everything looks good. It's got ICSP. Yeah, ICSP. Uh, Adapters right here and what I do what I like is so these are color-coded to match the servos So you don't have to worry about facing them a certain way and right in these pins they actually are lit, numbered one and two So you know where one and two are that's always really good um, And any other back still trained with a little information But you know, this is a nice board. It's got a little bit of weight to it, which I like it's not Super light where it feels like it flexes. This feels very sturdy, like I'm not going to bend it. Uh, 5 volt in ground, looks like power inputs. General button and a reset, which will probably be for loading programs. It's 
really nice. I like that. All right, I'm set that somewhere safe. Oh, we've got some rings and it looks like ball bearing or bearing type rings. Yep. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video. But I have some leftover bearing grease or model kit differential oil I can probably use on those to make sure they run smooth. But they feel nice and they're cool looking. Again, heavier duty than I thought. These have a nice weight to them. Something very tiny here. I can't get that out. Alright, so I'm just going to cut the tape. Okay. Oh, mini OLED screen. Okay. So it's got the screen. And it's got all the pinouts. They're already pre-soldered, which is nice. And they're labeled still, which is nice. I like them being labeled. All right, is that safe? Suction cups. Okay, this is, now this is a joy. This is something I really am happy to see. Labeled bags with what they are and individual Ziploc bags or press lock or whatever you want to call them. I love that they labeled them individually because there's a fair bit of them in here. And if they were just in little punch boards or little bags, not knowing exactly which one's which would cause me to guess or have to get out of gauge and figure it out. Having them individually labeled takes all the guesswork out. And when the instructions say use an M3 nut, I can find the bag that's exactly M3 nuts. No questions asked. Uh, on the, and the other plus side, since they're all you know, press lock, zip lock bags, I can reuse them. Because you never know when you need little baggies for various reasons. Uh, fantastic. Ribbon. I saw the instructions just for looping around those batteries in case you need to remove them. So you can loop around the battery, pull the ribbon, and the battery pops out. We'll see if that actually gets used. Uh, ooh, a little accordion wrap for the wire, wire management, cable management. USB cable, decent length. Uh, nut driver, um, get a million of these with any RC ready to run car you buy. Servo extension, so that'll be nice. Screwdriver with a nice big long shank on it. Always helpful. We'll see if it actually can stand up to anything. All right. And now the boards. Okay, so everything is cut out of this acrylic material. Um, looks very clean. Looks like they're going to slide out. Wow, the tolerances are pretty tight. Uh, they'll slide out. There's tape on the back. Um, very, you know, it's got this, I don't know what the term is, but butcher paper sticker on it that you'll have to peel off, uh, which obviously I will do before I start assembly, because if, if you like peeling off paper off plastic bits, you know the mildly pornographic, not safe for work sounds you make, is you're like, ooh, ah, and all that good bit, and we got even more, nicely. All marked nice and everything looks clean. The edges are maybe a hair. No, actually, they don't feel that sharp either on the cut edges. So I will invariably paper cut myself at least five or six times while building this. But that actually doesn't feel too bad. We got more. Here's some disc parts and gear bits, which I'm assuming the servos will be rotating and using to open and close themselves and lastly the big base plate uh, nice all right well that's the whole box as you see uh, i'm very i'm really looking forward to building this i think this is going to be something fun uh, i already have some practical ideas of how i can use it uh, but really this was I, I wanted to buy something different, uh, found a good deal on this, and just pulled the trigger. So, 
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do the like and subscribe bits, please. And other than that, I will see you again once I start putting everything together.